In the past, these drivers and steersmen would have had to negotiate all sorts of roads, up and down steep hills, through and around tight villages and town streets. So once those who now own and crew road steam engines have gained the experience of driving on easy to navigate roads, it is human nature to want to test themselves and the engines under the conditions and on the types of roads that they would have had to deal with in the past. The instigators and main organisers of this particular road run actually live and work in the area. Guardy Bess and Dan Brothwell. But why have such a demanding road run in the first place? It came about because we, a group of us got together and we believed that the driving of steam engines was becoming more and more watered down. People were becoming afraid of driving them up and down hills. They were more road runs were being organised to cater for the least experienced driver with a, who, and they were mostly on the level and we thought well that is extremely easy to do there's no challenge so a challenge was sent out to the steam fraternity and say would you please take part if you feel you're up to it. Now if you need to find a location with challenging terrain that provides steep hills, tight and difficult bends, narrow country lanes and small villages and towns in effect, all of the difficult conditions for the engines and their crews, what better location could you find than around the Derbyshire area of Matlock and Cromford? So, not only a picturesque area, but an ideal place to challenge and test both man and machine. And in May 2014, a test is exactly what the inaugural Worksworth Assessment Trial Road Run provided. Margaret continues winding up the narrow street, the heavy vibration setting off car alarms as she goes. Despite a little earlier doubt, the Dibner roller is the next to depart and tackles the steep incline at a pace. And once through the edge of the town, as we saw, the gradient does lessen slightly, but it's still a long climb to the top. <laughs> 